Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to another week of Eagle Vision. I am your host, Joshua Hignite. First news of the day. New Caney Eagles versus the Tomball Whatevers. Anyways, we had an insane comeback. We got an interview with Coach Pennington with more about that. Really proud of our kids this past, past Friday. Uh, the good news is, you know, it was uh, a, a chance for our kids to get better before district, and it wasn't a district ball game. We did we did get beat, but uh, uh, late in the third quarter, it was uh, 34 to seven. You know, and there was like, you know, who who in the heck thinks you can come back and win a game uh, that late in the game and, and with that uh, amount of point difference, but. Uh, it was really fun for me. I've been doing this a long time. It was awesome for me to watch our kids battle back. And uh, uh, people sometimes give up on things too soon, uh, yeah. whether it be a marriage or uh, you know a job or whatever. I just don't believe that. You know, I think when you make a commitment, you make a commitment, and you you, you fight and you battle and uh, you fight through adversity. And, and, and uh, you have to understand that. Uh, your words are powerful, and on those sidelines, those words of encouragement, those words of affirmation, are are, uh, are powerful. And uh, our kids were doing all that Friday night, so uh, I think that uh, we grew and got better. And that that was that's the whole reason that you play those pre-district ball games. We only get two because uh, because it starts for real this week. But uh, I think a lot of growth happened for our football team in that game. And uh, it was, it was an exciting Texas high school football game. Last year, the broadcasting team went to an ILPC competition at University of Texas in Austin. Now, the team consisted of Chris Torres, Joseph Applegate, and myself, where we filmed talking about the restrictions of the First Amendment, more specifically, freedom of speech. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm here at ILPC at UT in Austin. This event is absolutely amazing, but is it in jeopardy of being completely eradicated? Well, I'm Joshua Hignite. Let's talk about that. Lately, journalism as a class has been shut down in multiple high schools, mainly because officials feel it is unneeded, not to mention how hard it is to actually find a journalism teacher. Journalism classes emphasize the First Amendment, but their budgets are being slashed. There have been many other cases to where people feel that the First Amendment should be restricted. This could change the media in so many ways. Not to mention, it could change what the IOPC stands for. So, we're here at UT to talk to a few people and how they feel about this kind of restriction. I think the First Amendment already is restricted in a lot of ways. If you go into an airport and you're going through security and you say, hey, I got a gun here. Uh, your First Amendment rights have just been restricted. Yeah, Hazelwood versus Kuhlmeyer, which was the Supreme Court decision that said that in the end, administrators have the obligation or the responsibility of, of censoring basically high school publications. So we already have a restricted student press as it is. Um, but it definitely affects. Anytime you cut a budget, no matter what you're producing and no matter what you're doing, it's going to affect student interest because it's hard to bring those students in if you don't have the equipment you need or anything like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed our look at a few broad aspects that may contribute or affect the IOPC competition. Anyways, I'm Joshua Hignite, and have a great day. We are a group of students who are absolutely passionate about audio and video. We are individuals who are passionate about filming, about working here at the stadium, about pursuing our dreams and value success. We are what is known as the Dream, the dream Team. team. <laughs> You're so bad at this. I don't, know. I don't go nowhere without a man.
They scared that I'ma cause these babies to stumble. They scared that my integrity is gonna crumble. Appreciate the prayers, but all that pressure either gonna make you humble or make you hang out on the sidelines and feel you gon' fumble. Put me in, coach. Ain't out here flexing for nobody. I was born to do it. God don't make mistakes to say I'm sorry. He ain't never dropped the ball. I don't never plan to fumble. Catch me running with them lions. Reggie pushing in the jungle. Ugh. As you may have noticed, New Caney High School has gotten a few new teachers, and we caught an interview with some of them. I'm Brianna Lindy with Eagle Vision. Hello, my name is Mr. Lyles. I'm new to New Caney High School this year and looking forward to a good year. I'll be an ag science teacher, teaching vet med, uh, livestock production, wildlife, um, classes like that. So any of you that I have, I look forward to meeting you and uh, hope for a great year at New Caney High School while we're enjoying the Astros game here with all the rest of the teachers. My name's Kelsey Powell. I'll be teaching geometry, pre AP geometry, and Algebra 1 EOC. And what I want to accomplish this year is go to as many sporting events as possible and uh, just kind of see my kids um, do whatever they like to do, whether it's break dancing or football or twirling or whatever. So my name is Philip Vick. Um, I'm teaching Algebra 1 at New Caney High School. This year I'll be looking forward to meeting all my new students. Uh, Zachary Crew. I'll be teaching biology and environmental systems. Um, I'm looking forward to a good year in my first year in New Caney. Um, Former military, so don't mess with me. Okay. Okay. I'm Morgan Miller. I'm a first year teacher. I'm teaching English 3, and I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. My high school was featured in the movie. Remember the Titans. What do you think you want to tell your students? I uh, really look forward to seeing you, you guys later this year, later the next week. Yeah. In other news, homecoming week being next week, uh, we have theme days. So let's get right into it. Monday, dress up as your favorite movie characters. So One Direction, Channing Tatum, The Kardashians. Um, I, I, that's all that I can really name celebrity-wise, Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know. Dress up as a famous celebrity. If you look like a famous celebrity, congratulations, you will rock this day. Tuesday, tacky tourist day. Now, go all out, okay? Fishing hat, sunshades, like you got the little sunscreen thing on your cheek or on your nose or whatever. S tube socks and sandals. I mean, just just look like you don't really look like you're in a cultural area. Wednesday, Dynamic Duo Day. Now this day I'm fairly excited about. Uh, the example that they give us is Lilo and Stitch. Other examples may include Batman and Robin, Spongebob and Patrick, Hillary and her emails, Clinton and Monica, or Trump and his wall. Next day, Thursday, Color Wars. Now freshmen, you gotta wear white. If you get your white t-shirt dirty or something while eating lunch and then you gotta like a splat of ketchup, it, uh, just wear white. I don't, we don't care. Um, sophomores wear blue, juniors wear black, and your truly awesome, amazing seniors wear neon colors because we're, we're neon. I, I, I don't know what joke to add to that, but we're neon. Um, Friday is Spirit Day. Make sure that you show your support for our awesome Eagle football team as they're going to go out and destroy, demolish, and then Saturday comes around and we'll... We'll basically be dancing, celebrating, and having loads of fun. <sighs> Anyways, finally, I'm Joshua Hignite, and I hope you enjoyed this segment of Eagle Vision. And as always, have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Today, today. Oh.